Sorry now, the Parkton office of the State Capture Commission of Inquiry was burgled last night. A number of laptops, we understand, are reported missing from the premises. I want to get the very latest now to this developing story from the Secretary of the Commission, Professor Tumaleng Mosala. Professor, thank you very much indeed for coming on. Uh, tell us what happened last night, what was stolen? Well, good morning, good afternoon. We are only aware of... Um uh, two computers that, that have been stolen, um, one downstairs on the, on the ground floor and the other on the third floor where our documents uh, department is located. Um, all of the other things are, are in place. Right, so two computers stolen. Any sensitive documents stolen? Everything in this office is sensitive, absolutely sensitive. So I can't say to you specific mm. uh, documents have been stolen. We have uh, a big team right away. They've been here since uh, 6.20 this morning of the police and the various other members of the various uh, interdisciplinary sections of the, of the police are over here, including the cyber uh, investigations people of the of the police uh, I have a very big team of people outside um, who have cordoned off the place and are not allowing anybody to get close to 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 anything in case evidence is um, interfered with right. and and so um, uh, because we take security absolutely seriously here in view of the absolute sensitivity of every piece of information that is here, uh, we have not taken any chances and the police are also not taking any chances. So those two computers, what sort of information was stored on those specific computers? I obviously can't tell you that. <laughs> investigations are being done now. We can all say it's all about investigations because we are an investigations um, uh, commission. Um, but I can't tell you specifically what is stored in here. I can tell you it's important uh, commission information. Um, like all other information here, it is absolutely um, security sensitive. Um, there's nothing that is not security sensitive here. Maybe I should come at it at another angle. Uh, I understand investigations are continuing, but Prof, what's your hunch? Uh, this, this burglary, does it have to, anything to do with any evidence that has been heard already or evidence that is yet to be heard? I wouldn't be able to tell that because I don't know what was in the specific computers that have been taken. Uh, like I say, the police, as we speak now, are busy downloading um, everything that was either in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, the, in the security cameras that are here, um, and they will, I think, obviously, when the forensic part of it comes, uh, would like to check together with our people here. Remember that we are an organization mm. with um, a first class investigative capabilities uh, in it uh, and particularly forensic uh, capabilities in the organization anyway. So together um, with our, our, our people here, um, they will talk about uh, what was exactly in the computers. But right. like I say to you, uh, we take no chances with anything uh, that is in this office because it is about, mm. um, about the nation and about the future of the nation. And uh, we've spent three years here working hard to put together for the first time in this country and I think probably for the yeah. first time in the world the kind of uh, investigative evidence on the subject of, cap of, of state capture uh, fraud and um, and and, and um, corruption right. that nobody else has ever put together in this way anywhere else in the world. So we we are extremely extremely uh, careful about this. It doesn't look on the surface. It looks it looks like petty crime, but there's no such a thing as petty crime when you're dealing with an organization like ourselves. So we are being careful. 
We're just, not accusing anybody of anything. We yes. don't know. Um, we've brought the police in because they are the professionals. Right. No doubt it is early stages in terms of the investigation. So we will learn more as time goes on. But just with regards to my layman understanding about security measures, uh, you know, in a commission like this, I would assume that all those documents that are physically housed there or the computers, uh, in terms of the information that is stored in these computers, they are backed up, isn't it? They are copies of these. Of course, yeah. of course, everything is backed up. Everything uh, uh, is safe, but things are safe while they are with you. Um, mm. When they leave you, you don't know why people want them and what they intend to do with them. Uh, but, but obviously people have uh, illusions about the fact that um, they could steal information in a manner in which that information um, uh, will, be, will be lost forever. Uh, to us. Like I tell you, we have um, a first-class, world-class investigative team in the Commission ourselves. So, you know, um, uh, the only thing we're concerned about is that this is, this is now beginning to be a, pa a pattern. I didn't raise this with you at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, last week, we had an incident of a, of a, of a, of a bullet um, a bullet fired into into the window of our library, which, oh. which um, we had to report to the police. Um, and we, we, again, we don't know what the purpose of this was. We don't know whether it was a stray bullet. Uh, we don't want to dramatize. We really don't want to dramatize. But we do, because we, on the one hand, we know that our country is crime-ridden. And so it's possible that um, uh, ordinary crime might find itself into into our terrain, um, which has nothing to do with yeah. anything uh, that people might think um, uh, it is. Um, but similarly, our country is corruption-ridden. And so for that reason also, uh, we leave no stone unturned when we deal with matters like this. So this is, we, we're beginning yeah. to worry about about uh, whether this could be more serious than it is. We just don't know, and we're leaving no stone unturned in our investigations. Right, with regards to the nature of uh, the business of the commission, I guess you can't rule out anything at this stage because, as you said, things are very sensitive. This bullet fired into the library is very interesting, uh, Professor. Talk to us about the scope of the building and where exactly is this library located? Well, it's located closer to the uh, so Empire Road. Our building is on Empire Road. Right. And um, it's the, the library is on the east um, of, of, of the building. Uh, it's not directly uh, facing the road. It's kind of um, uh, uh, slightly northeast. Um, but, you know, and, and so we cannot, we're not experts in these things of how bullets are shot and what would it have to be coming from uh, for it to be stray bullet. Um, uh, uh, what would make it a deliberate aim yeah. uh, at, at, the build, at the building. Uh, but, you know, you don't want to move into your library to go and look for documents and find the window blasted yeah. and a bullet on the floor. Uh, and then for that reason, we took, again, immediate precautions. We brought the police in immediately. Um, but like I say to you, we don't want to dramatize. We, are, we live in South Africa. This library, uh, in comparison or in relation to where the commission sits to hear evidence, uh, talk to us about that in terms of how far is the library uh, to where evidence it's is. quite heard. far. Is it quite far? It's quite far. You have to drive out of the building, drive onto Empire, turn right and go past the, 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 uh, the hill and go down onto the other side to Bramfontein. It's in Bramfontein. We are in Parktown. Right. Okay. It's near to drive to, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a 10 minutes drive or less. Oh, I see. Okay. And, and this, this took place while the commission was sitting. What time of day? Last week. No, it had taken place over the weekend. Oh, it took we place. We saw it on, on Monday. Yeah, right. We, Okay, so that's interesting, and that's a, another element, I guess, to the investigation. Yes. Uh, it will form part of an integral part of the investigation, no doubt. Talk to us about the current situation in terms of security. Who protects this building? Is it different from ordinary buildings that we know in terms of private security? Who, who protects uh, th this building that uh, we hear evidence from? 
No, it's protected by a, a, a private, uh, private security company that is the same private security company that is engaged by the Department of Justice. Okay. So it, it, is, it is normally protected. I mean, there, is, there are two elements here. There's the, the owners of the building. We are, we are um, tenants here uh, as, a, as a commission. The owners of the building have got their own security, and the Department of Justice has also engaged a private security company uh, that looks after the building. Will security now be beefed up? following this incident certainly most certainly most certainly yeah what changes can we'll we expect i beg your pardon what changes can we expect in terms of security well first of all i think we would need to to to, to have a discussion with the security people they will they will be the first to to suggest how much better can we prevent what happened at the moment? Uh, but we second, we remember that it's not only the information that we're protecting here, it's people also. Right. Uh, there are uh, very important South Africans uh, who, who, who work in this place, uh, men and women who shouldn't be worried when they are in this building. Um, and then secondly, um, there are high level professionals who work at all times uh, of the day and night, uh, uh, often depending on the circumstances. And uh, we don't want people not to be able to be here when we have yeah. pressure to, to achieve certain milestones. We want this business to be completely 24-7, uh, um, completely protected all the time. Right. Uh, I'm just looking at the uh, Commission's uh, Twitter page here, and it was posted that the Commission is hearing parliamentary oversight uh, related evidence from the Speaker of the National Assembly, uh, Ms. Tandi Modise, tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, this incident, this burglary, in, burglary incident, will it impact in any way the Commission's work? Not with regards to that. That, that particular work w w happens at the, at the hearings. And um, this incident, like I say, is like two or so streets away uh, from, from, from the hearings interspersed by a whole lot of um, private sector buildings in between. So, so not at all. Um, the, 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 the officers who are coming from parliament don't come to this building. Um, they, they go directly over to, to, to where the hearings are taking place. So that will not. The key issue here is the safety of the personnel in the building yeah. as well as the, 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 the sensitive information uh, that we produce and keep in this place. Professor, thank you very much indeed for coming on and giving us the information that you have on hand. No doubt we will be leaning on you more as time goes on to get to the bottom of this. Uh, please do come back to us and give us the very latest. But we do appreciate your time. Be well, sir. Thank you very much, sir.